kredimi kem vzeg da nushni, da paltim nuje fakti. Mr. Korolev, was it not you who ruled out the possibility of a meteor? Only that the damage to the Novorossiysk suggested clean drilling, no punching. There was also a lack of trace minerals around the holes. This evidence does not support a beam weapon, and it would be a curious meteor indeed to create this. Then, if not an American weapon, what? Who else has lasers in space? Do you suggest that we fired on our own ship? Far be it for me to second-guess the brilliance at work behind our current military strategy. Dare you insult the military! Mr. President, Academician Korolev does not want to implicate the Americans because he has so many friends there. I do not. The professor does not give opinion because he trusts only scientific facts. Is it not a fact, Professor, that what is to blame is not a meteor, but something that cuts cleanly without trace? A weapon capable of digging top to bottom 20 meters of steel plate. Who is responsible if not the Americans? I stake my career, my reputation on this truth. The United States is responsible for this tragedy. I ask, Professor, who else has the capacity to commit this act? No one else. Not even the United States. This is no ordinary beam weapon. There is no burning, searing, melting. Nevertheless, who but the United States? Tell us, who else has the resources? Who else has the technology? The United States is the most likely source. That is your position, Professor Korolev? At this time, yes, but with deep regret if we are wrong. Do not weep if we are wrong. Weep if we are correct.